River season open, finally. I never targeted a tube, but I will try. I watched, I watched a few videos. Uh, first lure, lure I'm gonna try is this one. Salmo mini bug or little bug. Today was really warm day. I have only like one, maximum one and a half hour. Hopefully I will hook at least into one tube. That would be awesome. As I said, this is my first attempt to target just tube. Fingers crossed for some nice tube, or at least little. the grasses come on get it get through Woo. from videos I watched just cast on other side lift the rod tip so this lure just goes on top and just reeling in one speed. Today was a really hot day. So hopefully now in evening time, tubes start moving through all the river instead of just staying in one place. We will see if the information I collected from another video is gonna work or not really. Yep! Yeah. Whoa! That was, I think, like fourth cast maybe. Something small came. It was so awesome to see how a tube grabs from top. Incredible, not a messy one, but here you go, first one, beautiful. Hey, you can go back, thank you, nice. Well, it looks like it was worth to watch another videos as well. Well, not much time I have, especially now with all changes in my life. I will have a little bit less time for fishing, but I promise you guys, I will do my best to keep coming with videos. Okay, let's catch some more. It goes a bit underwater if I cast further, and I wanted to keep it right on top. But, well, originally I wanted Jackal Chubby SSR, which one goes on top of the water, just vibrating constantly and making this line, as probably you can see now, it's like a V-shape. This one slightly d dives deeper, but this Chubby, Jackal Chubby SSR, couldn't find anywhere online or the prices are ridiculous, like three times more expensive than actually cost. From most videos I've seen people casting like 90 degrees, ah, grasses, anyway, 90 degrees, 45 or a little, little bit upstream. Thing here is a little bit too deep, needs some shallower places, because when it's shallow, they have no time to react. If they want to eat, they just take. Where it's deep, they can come, look around, leave, 
and so on. Oh, just go oh, back. Yeah, just wanted to say I just got a touch and I got a fish. Woo! Came off. <laughs> it twisted in the grass and it hooked me. But in a good way, theory works. Not exactly a lure I would like to have, but. It does some kind of job, at least so far. It's just so awesome to watch how a fish take, chub takes from top of the water. This action is like fly fishing, I guess. Never tried, but that's what I imagine. Ooh, had another take. No more so far. Caught one. Had three attacks. Three takes. And I missed all of them. That's on me. Um, okay. That's a good looking lure. Same tactics. On my left side. Uh, this one is not flying as good as previous. So I think this one is sinking a bit. I mean, it's floating lure, but it dives slightly on the surface. That it works so good. I think I need to cast a bit this way and just let it drift itself. I think current speed is enough for this lure in here. Well, dark one didn't work, maybe bright yellow. This one is bigger. I think maybe this one does maybe vibrating a bit too slow. I don't know, that's just my guess. As I said, this is the first time I'm actually targeting tube, probably doing a lot of things wrong. But here you go, I'm learning. Maybe some of you learning. Maybe you'll tell that I'm doing totally wrong, which is cool as well. Then I will learn later. This one as well, kind of, you know, Longer distance is just like subsurface lure. If I would have longer rod, I could lift the tip higher and then it would become surface lure. But oh well, I fish with what I have. And I think lots of people does that. Would like to have 100 different rods. But maybe one day, Guys, if you subscribe, maybe one day I will have them and I can show better, better options for different type of fishings. I'll use this one again. Thinking that one of the first things I need to learn, feathering. I don't like when the lure drops just like poof. I would like it fall like a natural book, like quiet. Because now when it drops so heavily, 
I imagine fish getting scared need to present like a natural book just like then would be much better okay I have something to work on when water is slower fish has way much more time to look around the lure and if they don't like something they're just not gonna take Missed on the first day, come on, stay on the hook. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Ship number two. Yeah, in a net. Not a big one, but beautiful fish. That was, thank you, bye. They are masters to get in the grass. Straight away tangled. Wanted to hook my lure and get themselves out to be honest I didn't even think that chip fishing will be so interesting <laughs> just need to find better floating lures and uh, better places for them it's so awesome to see them taking from the top oh, fantastic I love fishing Day two, another short, about one, one and a half hour session. I'll use same lure, try to catch mo more tubes. Fingers crossed, we will get something bigger today. Yep, fish on. Not a big one. But there is a tube. On the hook. And let him go. Thank you. Ah, this bug is not always working very good. Oh. Yep, fish on. As soon as it dropped, what is it? Another tube? Yes. As soon as it dropped, I don't think I even reeled it for a bit. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Ooh water is really warm. Yep. Oh, so strange. I'm getting lots and lots of attempts, but most of them are empty. Well, it's a top lure, top surface lure. Yep, yep, this one better. This one better. Definitely. Come on! Maybe not that better, but yeah, slightly. Not a big one, but nice. Yes, yes! It is far away from perfect lure, what I would like to be. Because it's not always working good. But... You can catch with it, it's alright. I would like this lure would be more stable. Whoa! Have you seen what a take? That's amazing! I mean, I missed a chance, but come on, that's awesome!
I already missed, I don't know, at least 20, 30 attacks. All empty, all empty. Still fun. I just don't think that the slur is very efficient. Come on! Yeah, this is better. Little bit better, I think. On DM lure, I just put first cast and fish on. Yeah, whoa, crazy, crazy tube. Beautiful lure, beautiful tube. Biggest of today. Nice. Thank you. Bye bye. And this one was, this one goes slightly underwater. This beautiful lure works awesome. But as well, in a strong current like in the main one over there, it works for a bit and then just loses balance. Wow. That was the first. Yep. I think in such a short session like this, in such a short time, yeah, new fishing style for me I think I did good another few casts and I'll go home today in this one and a half hour I don't know probably I had a 20 30 40 takes empty takes caught on pulled out on a few but well guys I had lots of fun just to see how it takes from top of the water is awesome Oh, that was two short sessions, two short evenings, like, I think like one, one, one and a half hour each day, two days in a row. I tested new top water and almost top water lures. Still don't have lures which ones I want in a way that it would work. But yeah, I think as a first time trying to target just tube, and I caught only one small perch. Uh, my target achieved. I definitely gonna come back for tube as I can see. Potentially it could be a second favorite fishing type after trout. And at the same time, still use same rod as for trout. Western W3 street stick, two to seven grams, one, one meter 83 centimeters. Shimano one for the 2500 reel, super thin line. All the lures I was using and the fishing rod, line, reel, I'll include in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe, help me to grow this channel, and I'll see you in the next ones.